two of my friends were sharing an apartment with me. It contributed nothing, so we were in dire straits. And then I decided, like, this cannot continue. I got really serious. And so I pursued a career with United Parcel Service. And it, uh, it served me well for like 14 years. Good gig. Great gig. Great company. Still supports me today. Just unbelievable. But I, I started young enough. So I say I grew up at UPS. I, I got a lot of business acumen. I got a lot of, you know, planning and preparing and managing. And it, like I really grew up in the business world at UPS. And I'm so grateful for it because it makes me the businesswoman I am today, which is pretty cool. Created a foundation. Huge. Huge. I, I don't know that I would have gotten that um, because they're so, you know, time efficiencies and I mean, it's, I started as a driver, so I learned it like moving like at the speed of light uh, and then progressed into management and I ended up at the corporate office at, in Atlanta, Georgia. And I was the liaison between the customer service representatives on the street across the country and the marketing department. It's a great gig. It's a great job. So when I was a driver, I started investing in real estate because I'd be in all these neighborhoods and I'd see these for sale signs and 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 these for sale by own. And I'm I'm like I I should be buying these houses. <laughs> so I went to a this is a true story. I went to a Robert Allen No Money Down how to invest in real estate weekend. And I was amazed, hook, line, and sinker. And like within two weeks, I went out and I bought my first house and then I just kept buying houses while I was driving. And then, yeah, I moved all over the country with UPS, right? And so, so then I'm a long distance landlord and, and, I, and I liquidated. And then I'm in Atlanta and I decide that 14 years is enough and I retired and moved back to Tucson and took two years off. And the only thing I really knew was UPS and real estate. And so as I'm trying to figure out what is it I want to do when I grow up, was like, wait, and I taught for UPS, by the way. That's where the whole education thing started. So I traveled the country for UPS and I taught uh, frontline salespeople how to negotiate UPS rates against like a FedEx and RPS and any other carrier. It's awesome. And that's when I got the bug. That's when I started realizing like how wonderful teaching is and making a difference. And so, uh, so I come back here, I take two years off because I can. And I had been working so hard, I thought, well, I just want to do something I've never done before, you know, like, I don't want to work 80, 90, 100 hours a week anymore, for, you know, like I was for UPS, and so, I was just like, hmm, take some time off, and then I got restless, and I'm like, hmm, well, now what am I going to do, and I thought, well, you know investing in real estate, and you want to continue to teach, so why don't you get your license, so that you have first-hand knowledge of the properties that are for sale and then you can figure this gig out called real estate and then like teach people how to invest because at this point now I'd have been investing like like 14 yeah. 15 years mm -hmm. so I thought I could marry that and and that's how I got into real estate and it wasn't to do sales and, or anything uh, my r real estate career is amazing and I didn't set out to do any of it so it's pretty cool <laughs> except to teach which which I get to enjoy <laughs>